Hi, I am Cindy Briggs and I'm going to show you how I do quick sketch painting just like the one you see behind me that I did in my Spain sketchbook. So I am working the cameras and I want you to see this is one that is in my Carmel sketchbook, which is a Fabriano sketchbook with 140 pound paper in it. I take my sketchbooks wherever I go and do these studies, which later can turn into larger paintings or just paintings for myself. So I'm sharing now the, the spot that I'll be painting is here in Carmel. It's at the Carmel Mission Inn, and it's a beautiful spot. Very peaceful, and full of um, beautiful, beautiful things to paint. All right, back to where I'm painting. Here's a photograph that takes me in closer to that scene. So here I am drawing with a Faber-Castell fine point pen. And I draw with a continuous line drawing. It's very organic. And while drawing the contour of these shapes, I can get this in fairly quickly. I use this style of drawing, whether I'm drawing architecture or portraits, whatever my subject, I tend to use a continuous line drawing. Let's see, let's put the window in. I'm cheating a little bit by picking up my pencil. And I'm just going to cross over here and go back up and over. And then let's add some more of the greenery of the bougainvillea and the flowers. So that's my drawing, very simple and quick. Drawing in the just the inside side of the wall. And we'll let it go at that mini here. I'll draw a little line. So I can see where my window is in the bougainvillea plant. I am using Daniel Smith watercolors, Daniel Smith extra fine watercolors today. And my palette is the Neely Bulletproof palette, and I absolutely love it. I'll talk about the colors as I go, but I wanted you to see that I. I make huddles of my paints before I start painting. So I've worked out the colors. These colors will be on the list with the handout that you can download in my newsletter and on my website. Okay, I'm going to start painting the colorful bougainvillea. And as you can see, here I am with painting with Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor in Crinacridone Rose. And Crinacridone Lilac. There we go. So my, my flowers are all different sizes and shapes. I have connecting shapes. And what I don't want to do is make the same brush stroke over and over again. So to eliminate those three exact same dots, I'm adding brush strokes in and around it. The main thing that I want to watch for is leaving light around the spots and not making polka dots. So that light is the sparkle 
of your painting. Now that I'm happy with the shapes of my bougainvillea, I'll be adding greens. And this green is phthalo green yellow shade. It's a beautiful, bright screen, sp spring green. And I will drop in some of that color within my bougainvillea. There we go. Once again, not filling in every little space. I want some of that white sparkle within, within my um, flowers. This is a vignette, so I'm not going clear to the edges. Oh, I'm having fun with this one. I hope it's recording right. I'm new at making these videos. I've been promising my students for years that I would figure it out. And that has been my focus here for quite a while, um, working on lighting and the speakers and the cameras so that, so that I can do this. There's more coming, I promise. So please ignore my um, production mistakes. There we go. As I paint and film and do everything at the same time. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. I will also bring in another color that I like. It is rich green gold, which you really can't tell much on there, and green appetite. Green appetite ha granulates and I think is a little richer than sap green. I found it to work wonderfully in landscapes and um, paintings with vegetation in there. So I am adding, it's actually Green Appetite Genuine and it is a Daniel Smith Extra Fine watercolor. Okay, my goal here is to not do too much, to stop before I go too far. So I'm starting to feel that I'm, I have a tendency to go there. So when I feel that, I will sometimes just ladder some color on there to, to break away from perfectionism. Here's some of that rose. There we go. Now it's messed up a little bit. I'm happy with that. All right, while that is drying, while my flowers are drying, let's see. I will put in the wall color, which is Naples yellow, my go-to color, and some buff titanium. Buff titanium is an off-white, and applied very lightly can um, just give you that nice old world wall color that is hard to predict create in watercolor. Once again, I'm not trying to do a complete finished painting, so my edges are unfinished. And I'll put some of this down here, saving some light. There we go. Well, it's Starting to dry, let's see, I'm gonna add some texture with Daniel Smith Lunar Earth and mess it up a bit. All right, so often on location, you may not have a lot of time. You may be painting at a cafe table or while you're waiting for um, your fairy. You just want to get a quick sketch in your journal. And I find that these quick sketches that I throw together in my, my journals are some of my favorites. I often will make prints of those and create cards with them. 
or even go off and do a larger study. So what I'm doing right now is called negative painting. And this helps those bougainvilleas pop out a little bit. There we go. Within the window. Nice and dark. So now you can see the window back there behind the bougainvillea. If, if the paint, it's not quite dry, so some of it's going where I don't want it to go, and I can, I can just create a thirsty straw with the paper towel and my brush. While my walls are drying, I'm using a pasty thickness of paint, less water, more paint, to create some dimension within my bougainvillea. So there's some lights and darks in there. And once again, stop, Cindy, don't go too far. Hmm. Now, it's not quite dry yet. Oh, so excited to get into, this is that um, Roosevelt to Marine. I need some of that into the depth of the window. So where it gets really dark inside, I never use black in the window. It just creates more of a wall than um, taking you inside. Okay, so for my shadows, I'm using uh, lavender. A fairly thin wash of lavender. So the yellow can show through and give me something of a glow. So this is, this is my shadow shape and the shadows give drama to the light and to the overall painting. It's rare that you'll find me painting a foggy picture. I tend, I tend to be drawn to the light. So here we go. So you can see how that lavender over the yellow just creates a wonderful effect. And I'm almost done. Almost done. I wanted to make this quick and charming. Here we go. A little bit of brown up here on this bean and inside the window, the wall in the window, it's not white. So I'm going to drop in some color there and be done with it. Yeah, that'll do. And adding a little splatter once again. And I think I'm pretty happy with it. When it dries, I'll sign it. And I just sign with the same pen that I used in the initial drawing. So here we are back to my sketch. And you can see Bougainvillea and some of the details. Here's that lavender that I used. And um, it was all done with my Dynasty Black Gold 311 size 4 quill brush. This is available on the Brush Guys. Uh, there's a link on my website, um, cindybriggs.com, to my supplies. Let's see. All right, I hope you enjoyed my demonstration. Um, my new approach to creating step-by-step -step lessons will be um, from now on in my newsletter, and I'm going to start posting them 
on YouTube and creating more involved videos, more complete lessons. For right now, I'm just doing these quick studies to get warmed up and used to the technology. I have learned that painting keeps you in the present and at peace. When you're, when you're you're in that state of mind, it's a wonderful place to be. I have this quote from Van Gogh. He said, I dream my paintings and then paint my dreams. And it's always been my dream to share my love of painting with friends and family who are my students. Um, whether you are a collector or you want to learn how to paint, it's, it's so nice to enrich your life with art. If you want to join me in Carmel, October 23rd to the 26th, um, just visit my website. There's information. You can private message me or uh, send me an email. You can call me at 541-420-9463. And I can tell you more about it. I have just a few spaces left. Uh, we'll be doing creative writing with that. And there's a, a combined workshop with Carol Frazier if you want to add on to your week and stay the 26th to the 29th following my workshop. It's all about creative writing and yoga with a little bit of color. So think about that and let me know what you thought of the video. I promise I'll get better, um, but we had to start somewhere. So have a great day.